Okay, hello students. So this will be the first time for Pong Free Student as a revision intensive videos. So it is about unit 12.1 and also 12.2. Okay. So using the Oxford uh, series. So first of all, we will define health. So for health, there will be three domains. There will be physical health, mental health, and also social well-being. And in order to keep us health, we have to have a healthy lifestyle. So what are healthy lifestyle? An example will be regular exercising, balanced diet, and also we have enough sleep. Afterwards, we would like to talk about the function of food. For food, it provides energy to keep it and keep us warm, and also it supplies raw materials for growth and repair, and also it maintains health. Generally, there will be seven types of food from carbohydrates, lipid, protein, minerals, vitamins, dietary fibers, and also water. For the first three, they all provide energy, while the remaining four, they do not provide energy, however, they are critical for our health. Let's talk about uh, carbohydrates first. There will be two types and with example. There will be sugars, like the sucrose in the table sugar, and also starch, like the one in rice. And the building block of carbohydrates will be glucose. So here are the uh, general cartoon expression of different uh, carbohydrates. You may see that in here, there is a starch and they are made up of tiny uh, shape here. They are all glucose. So it makes up of many glucose. And for the function of carbohydrates, it is the main energy source for human. And the starch is break down into glucose and glucose will be used in respiration. If it is in excess, that is too much. Then, for animals like us, human, the carbohydrates will be converted to glycogen or lipid, and they will then be stored in the liver and muscles as the energy reserve. So let's talk about lipids. There will be two types of lipids, fats and also oils. Fats are mainly found in animals, while oils are mainly found in plants. The example will be meat and butter, and the building block will be one glycerol and also three fatty acid, as shown in the cartoon in here. For the functions of lipid, it is an energy reserve, but it is used only after the glycogen, and also it acts as a heat insulator and salt absorber to protect uh, internal organs. Lipids is also a component of cell membranes, and also it is used to store and transport lipid-soluble vitamins like vitamin A and B. So let's talk about proteins. The example will be meat and egg, and the building blocks of proteins will be amino acid, as shown in the circle here. So it is a general structure of a protein in a cartoon version. For proteins, the functions will be the raw materials for growth and repair, like hair, skin, and muscles. And also, proteins are used to make enzymes, antibodies, and some hormones. And in a critical stage, it can also be used as an energy source. However, it will be only used after the glycogen and lipids are used up. After the first three, that can provide energy, and then now we move to minerals. For minerals, we have calcium, iron, and iodine. And in this part, you are kindly reminded the format of study. You have to remember the source, function, and also the deficiency disease. That is, if we don't have a particular mineral, we will be suffering from a disease. Let's start with calcium. The source will be milk and tofu, and the function is to make bones and teeth strong, blood clotting, and also muscle contraction. If we don't have enough calcium, we will be suffering from rickets, as shown in the uh, diagram here. Next, let's talk about iron. The source will be liver and beef. And the function is to make hemoglobin. If we don't have enough iron, and then we will suffer from anemia. That is, it lowers down the oxygen carrying capacity in our blood. Lastly, we have iodine. The source will be seafood, and the function is to produce hormone by the fertile glands. If we don't have enough iodine, we will suffer from the gotia, as shown in the diagram here. Afterwards, we will move to vitamins. For vitamins, we will talk about A. C and D, and only C is soluble, water soluble. Similar to the previous uh, section, 
we will understand about the source function and also the deficiency disease. For vitamin A, the source is milk and uh, fish, uh, liver oil. And you're reminded that it is not directly from the carrot to get uh, vitamin A. It is the liver will convert the carotene in the carrot to uh, vitamin A. And the functions with to forming a pigment in the rock cell. If we don't have enough vitamin A, we will suffer from neck blindness. For vitamin C, the source is a lemon and on orange. And the function is to healing wound and also help our immune system work properly. If we don't have enough vitamin C, we will suffer from scurvy. Lastly, we have vitamin D. The source is fish liver oil. And we can also get vitamin D by exposing to sunlight. The function is for the absorption of calcium and phosphate. So if we don't have vitamin D, it will be similar to the one that we don't have enough calcium. That's why we will still suffer from red case. Now we move to dietary fibers. There will be two types of dietary fibers, insoluble one and soluble one. And their function is to help the feces pass out to the body by stimulating peristaltics. If we don't have enough dietary fibers, we may suffer from constipation. That means you have a difficult time in going to the toilet. And you're reminded that for dietary fibers, humans cannot digest it. However, for other animals, they may be able to digest it. And then we go to water. For water, we have to remember some functions of water, like it is a reactant of some chemical reaction, it is a media of chemical reaction, and is a media of transport, a good cooling agent to regulate our body temperature, and also a major component in many lubricating food. Now let's test some food. For the food test of carbohydrates, there will be two types, glucose and starch. For glucose, we will use glucose test paper, and the observation is color change. For starch, we will use iodine test, and the observation is brown to dark blue. As for lipid, the test is called the grid spot test. Here is a diagram showing a grid spot test. You will see a permanent translucent spot. As for protein, the test is the protein test paper. Also, you will have a color change observed. Lastly, for vitamin, we have a test for vitamin C, that is the DCPIP test. And the observation is the blue DCPIP is decolorized. So here is the original color, and here is the final positive result. To know more about nutrition, you may go to Farmhawk BSC Chapter 5. There will be Chinese version also available if you want, you would like to uh, have a look at that. So let's have a coffee break, and later on, we will have Unit 12.3. See you next time. Bye-bye.